Welcome to Mastermind Gameplay, where we refine our engineering capabilities. Today we're going to figure out the most efficient way to refine ore. First we're going to start out with five different refiners. One is going to be set up with no yield modules, and then we're going to progress including one additional yield module per refiner, so we can see how much a yield module actually produces. For each refiner, I have put 5,000 kilograms of magnesium ore. And we're going to see how much output we get from each refinery setup. Refinery 6 is just a test base. It's basically like setting a standard for Refinery 1. As you can see, we're already starting to produce magnesium. And if you look closely, the numbers are slightly different from each other. It appears that all of them are done refining. Now let's take a look at those numbers. It does look like we've completely refined them all. And as you can see, refinery one has 35 kilograms and it proceeds all the way down to number five that has the most at 70 kilograms, twice as much as refinery one. But refinery five has four yield modules on it. So you would think it would be more. For the actual numbers, here they are. We have 35, 41.6, 49.5, 58.9, and 70. When I calculated this out, each module that you apply to the refiner gives you a 19% increase overall for the yield. On this chart, it shows the steady incline. Next, we're going to try speed modules. We want to see how fast we're going to produce 35 kilograms of ore because adding or subtracting speed modules will determine if we want to add them with the yield modules on the same refiner or not. To do this, I'm going to need to time them all individually, so I'm setting up quick keys on the G menu to turn them on and off at designated times. That way they don't all start refining at the same time where I can't track them. Now, as you can see, it's the same basic setup as what the yield modules were. 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4 configuration. We started these with 5,000 kilograms of magnesium ore. They should all produce about 35 kilogram output, but the rate in which they produce it is going to be faster or slower. I converted all the numbers to seconds instead of putting them in a minute format, so they're easier to see on a chart. Later on you'll see those numbers I'm talking about. This is going to take longer if you were to watch the entire thing break down. But for practical purposes, I've sped it up. So around 4,000 kilograms left over, I sped it up until it got to about 100 kilograms left over per refinery. And refinery five is our last one. Once we're done with this, we'll be able to go over the numbers. You might be shocked. So 
So for the first module, it took 201 seconds with no module on the refinery. And then we have a 44% decrease by adding one module. And after that, the improvement of speed actually drastically goes down. As you can see from this chart, it almost levels out when you get to refinery three, four, and five. There's not much of a decrease. And then when we compare the yield versus the time for each refinery, our crosshairs kind of sit around refinery one and two because of the amount of time that's drastically cut from one speed module. Our final test is going to be trying out these combinations of yield modules versus speed modules. We want to see what the time is going to be and the yield for this setup. This should give us a better reference on what the most favored setup will be. Again, we start with 5,000 kilograms of magnesium ore, but this time we're going to measure the time individually and the quantity. The first setup looks like 41.6 for the magnesium. The second refinery produced 49.5 magnesium. And refinery three being the final test, looks like it's going to level out around 58.9 kilograms of magnesium. This is the setup that I used, one yield, three speed modules, two yield, two speed modules, three yield, and one speed module. You can kind of see from the times that you do have a faster time with more speed modules, but it's not that drastic of a difference. And on the chart, you can see that the time it takes drastically goes up when you get to about refinery three. Refinery two is kind of a sweet spot, but if you're pressed for time more than you are the yield, you might want to go with Refinery 1. If you have all day, go right ahead and use Refinery 3 setup. Well, as always, thanks for watching, and I hope you leave your tips, tricks, and comments in the comment section. I appreciate it. And off to the next job.